Hello everyone, this is Sincere Me12 here and I just wanted to do um, a quick tutorial on my comfort zone from Wet n Wild Color Icon and um, I've had them for, I've had this palette for um, a couple of weeks now and I thought I would do an eye tutorial but before I start my eye tutorial um, I just want to say congratulations to my cousin uh, who gave birth this morning to a beautiful baby boy. I'm so excited. My family is growing. And it just keeps getting better and better every day. So congratulations to my cousin and her family for the birth of their baby boy. And um, I can't wait to go see him. Um, it's just it's very exciting news. The birth of a baby. It's something beautiful. It's, it's something exciting. And... You know, it's just a blessing to the whole family. So I'm so excited for her. Can't wait to go see her. Can't wait to go see the baby. And um, I love you guys. Thank you um, for letting me know that she gave birth this morning. And even, you know, it, it's even more exciting because the baby was born on her brother's birthday. So how exciting is that? Um, yeah, she gave birth this morning, like at 3 in the morning. February 28th and um, it's just super cool yeah so uh, that was just it basically just wanted to give you know congratulations to my cousin well I'm gonna do the quick tutorial like I said and I'm just gonna use a few colors from my color icon palette and I will let you know as I use them because I didn't think over the look I'm just gonna go with it so whatever I feel that's what I'm gonna do okay um so I'm just going to start first off for the brow bone. I'm going to use this vanilla color here. And, you know, if you've watched me before, you know that I like using the light strokes from Bare Essentials. Make sure you tap off any excess because it does have fall out. I hope you guys can see this because I have to look in a mirror. just highlighting that brow bone guys I want to say you know excuse the lighting and any noise that you hear my windows open but um, there's just nothing but rain out there so you're probably gonna hear the, the cars going by making noise and just you know the lighting is gonna be a little bit off because of the rain okay now I'm gonna take a regular um, eyeshadow brush and I'm gonna go into this taupe color right here which also says that is for the sorry also says that is for the brow bone but I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna use that as a base for the the eyelid so that I can blend out the rest of the colors better and again don't forget to tap off any excess because it does have fallout. It's very pigmented, but it has fallout. And prior to applying everything, I primed my my eyelids. Going back in the color, just using a little bit more. I figured I'd do this. Um, just went back in the color for the second night. Um, do this tutorial since I have time today. Um, I have a doctor's appointment this morning, so it's not till 10. So might as well take advantage of the time I have now. Going back. And as you can see, it's a very light color. Nothing too dramatic. Just bring in that color a little bit down to the corners. Okay. 
So that's the eyes with just that color. Now I'm going to take one of my e.l.f. brushes, my flat eyeshadow brushes by e.l.f. Um, and I am going to go into this color right here in the bottom. It says definer, but I'm going to use that color. And that's like a brown with like hints of teal or something in it. It has it has some kind of bluish greenish tone in it. Um, and I'm just going to take my brush, just tap it in there lightly on both sides. And I'm going to tap off any excess because I don't want, you know, raccoon eyes. And I'm just going to do the corner here. Okay, I'm going to go back. Just packing it onto that to that corner. This is a neutral palette, but it has very dark colors. So it's gonna bring a lot of excuse me. A lot of drama to your eye. Okay, so now I'm gonna go and do the other eye. Again, just the corner. And I'm just tapping it in back to the color. I don't know if you can see the hints of the greenish bluish color here in this brown. I'm going to get a little closer. I don't know if you can see that, but just go back into the other one. Just a little bit more because I am going to be blending that out. Okay. Now I'm going to take a flat eyeshadow brush. Um, a flat eyeliner brush. And this angled one is fine. I usually just use this for my... Um, for my eyebrows, sorry, went blank for a minute there. And I'm going to go into this olive green right here, right under the light green. And then just going to go with the brush and tap off any excess. And with this, I'm just going to create a line from where the eyebrow starts, well, where the middle of the eyebrow starts. And just trace that line. I don't know, can you see that? gonna go to the other one so basically from here to the outer corner just a line You guys see that just two lines now I'm gonna take um, oops, sorry I moved the camera one of my blending brushes and I'm just gonna go and blend out that line I'm 
just kind of blending up so that you can blend kind of into the color that's already in the brow bone so it can lighten up a little. So I've blended that out, and I'm going to go blend out the other one. Blending takes a lot of time, but you get very nice results from it. Okay, both eyes have been blended out. Now I'm gonna um, take my light strokes um, brush and I'm gonna just go into this very light, um, it's like a pink, pink, brown, it's like a rosy beige or something. And I'm just gonna go in there and I'm going to do the inner corner where I didn't put any of the brown one. Just go in there. So you can see just doing the inner corner again. Because I just want to lighten that part of the eye. Just bringing it a little bit up into the crease, not too much. And not the whole crease either. Alright, and I'm going to go back with that brush into that brown with the hint of teal. And just darken those corners just a little bit more. Again. Okay, now with the same brush, I'm going to take, because it's kind of a flat eyeshadow brush, I don't know if you can see that, I'm going to take this part and then I'm just going to put some of that brown teal under and I'm just going to meet it halfway, I'm not going all around the eye. Just basically connecting the color from the top eyelid to the bottom. So that's that. Now I'm going to take um, another, this one is a defining brush from e.l.f. It kind of has like a slant. And I'm going to go 
into the the rosy color the rosy beige color and I'm gonna finish off the rest of the eye in the inside which is basically connecting the color from the top of the eye Okay, so that is done. Now I'm just gonna finish that off with a little bit of eyeliner and for that I'm gonna use my Prestige um, Waterproof Eyeliner. So I'm just gonna go in my waterline. are super sensitive today sorry because I was holding a mirror Now, um, last but not least, just to finish off the look, I'm going to go into my Maybelline Eye Studio Brown. And I'm going to use the angled brush that I used before. And I'm just going to put a little bit in the corners. I'm not doing a whole eyeliner look. And for the other one, so basically, where I'm putting the eyeliner is where that brown teal is, I'm not doing the whole eye, just adding a little bit of I guess, definition to that part of the eye. And that's it you guys um, that's the eyeliner look now what I'm gonna do is I'll be right back I'm gonna go and um, basically throw on some blush and some mascara and I'll give you guys a look at the finished product okay see you soon Okay, you guys, I'm back. This is the look all together. Um, just basically what I did was I just did some contouring, put on some mascara, and threw on some blush and some lipstick, and this is the finished look. I hope you guys like it. If you guys have any questions or any comments, um, feel free to post them in the bottom with, in the comments section and I'll be more than happy to answer any questions that you guys may have um, in maybe the following week or pretty soon I'll be doing a tutorial on the Blue Hat Me at Hello palette from the Color Icon. So look out for that. 
and yeah just have a great day and just be safe driving because i know that today is raining so if there's rain by you or snow just take it easy and just you know have a blessed day thank you bye